Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Tian Yu from Terry Chu Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. So, let's take a look at what this question is saying. The question is asking us to find the number of four-digit palindromes, which are a multiple of 11. Some of you might not be exactly familiar with this word right here, palindrome. So we're quickly going to go through what it means. A palindrome is basically a number that when read from the front and the back will be exactly the same. Let me show you what that means. Let's say I have the number 121. If I read it from the front, it's 121. If I read it from the back, it's going to be 121 as well. That's basically what a palindrome is. Now, the question is how many four-digit palindromes are going to be a multiple of 11? Another way of saying this is how many of them are going to be divisible by 11? So to do that, we actually need to think about the divisibility rule of 11, right? And the divisibility rule of 11 is this. Divisibility rule of 11. The difference between sum of even and odd digits must be equal to zero or a multiple of 11. So what does that mean? Let's say I have a number maybe one, three, three, one. My Odd digits added together, that's 1 plus 3 equals 4. My even digits added together, that's also 1 plus 3 equals to 4. The difference between my even and odd digits, 4 minus 4 equals to 0. Which means the number 1331 is divisible by 11. And if you look at this, 1331 also happens to be a palindrome. Now, if we do some thinking, we realize that there's actually only two kinds of number that can be both a palindrome and divisible by 11. Case 1. You have a four-digit number that is a repeat. So for example, 1111, 2222, 3333, so on. That's the first case. The second case for a possible palindrome is this. You have a four-digit number with only two different digits. And it has to be in this order right here, A, B, B, A. So if we add the total possible outcomes for the two cases together, we should get our answer. So let's look at case one first. Case one is pretty straightforward. A can be any number between one to nine. A is equals to one to nine, right? Which means case one has nine possibilities. Now, case 2 might be slightly more challenging. So let's look at case 2 now. We'll first look at the letter A. The letter A can be, once again, from 1 to 9. It can't be 0 because if A was 0, then you wouldn't get a 4-digit number. So A has, A has 9 possibilities. So once we filled in A, we're going to look at B now. B can be from 0 to 9 minus A. Because as we know, the numbers can't repeat themselves, right? Which means B technically only has 9 possibilities as well. Because we need to subtract the number already used for A. So how many possibilities do I have in total for case 2? A has 9 possibilities, B has 9 possibilities. So the total possible outcomes is 9 times 9, which is 81. So I've worked out everything for case 1, I've worked out everything for case 2. All I need to do now is add the two cases together. That will give me 90. And 90 is going to be my answer for this question. We have now completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson.
Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.